This is Rick Hayes with Hayes Aero. In this segment of the Aero Light 103 build, we're going to go over the charging circuit with the lithium battery and your hearth engine. As it says in this document, read this document before you install or you try to use your lithium battery. If you've received your battery from you fly it, Light Sport Aircraft LLC, this is a lithium battery that you'll receive. Now notice we have a couple extra leads out of the battery. These are for your charging circuit. The two terminal ends are what power your aircraft, go to your starter and your accessories in the aircraft. And the charging wires will come off your regulator rectifier. The regulator rectifier will have two yellow leads. These will come from your stator charging circuit in your engine. You have a red and brown lead. These go to your charging circuits in the battery. There's another wire. This wire is not used. What I do is I cut off this plug that comes on the regulator rectifier and install one of these two prong connectors. Normally you can buy them at a auto supply, a trailer supply house. If you're following your wiring schematic that came with your hearth engine, you'll notice the yellow wires coming out of your stator generator go to the yellow wires in your voltage regulator, which are these wires here. And also the brown wire coming out of your voltage regulator goes directly to your ground on your aircraft. In this case with the lithium battery, this brown is going to go to the black ground wire coming out of your battery. Also it shows a red wire going up to feed your accessories in the aircraft with a 20 amp fuse. We're still going to go through a 20 amp fuse coming out with, out with this red wire going through the 20 amp fuse and then into this red wire into the charging circuit of the battery. Here's a 2702 installed on an Aerolite 103. As you can see out of the regulator rectifier, yellow wires connect to the yellow wires coming out of the engine. For the charging circuit, the brown and the red, red being positive, red wire comes through this fuse block with the 20 amp fuse into the plug and the black wire that also goes in the plug. These plug directly into your battery charging circuit. On this plane the wires that come out of the battery are connected to the mating plug. plugs into this from the charging circuit. Also you notice in the wires out of the engine from your generator stator we run this gray wire. This is the gray wire that comes from your Grand Rapids EIS and that supplies the information to your tachometer in the Grand Rapids EIS. So this gray wire can go in into either of these two yellow leads. If you find need to charge this battery, it needs to be charged with a quality lithium battery charger. Also, if you allow the voltage to go low, below 11 volts, you may not be able to salvage the battery and never try to jump start across this battery. If the battery gets low, you need to charge it with a lithium battery charger. I hope this video helps clarify the installation of the lithium battery and the difference between the lithium battery and the lead acid batteries that may be used in the aircraft.